All right, questions for Dre and Kadori. Can you take this up for us? Guys, congratulations. Uh, what was the, uh, what was this like for you guys to come back and play this game after <coughs> Sunday's emotional game against Rutgers? How did you think you guys did? How was it? Um, I thought we, we did okay. Uh, I mean, obviously it's a win, but you know, um, I'm not happy with it. Obviously we need to finish the game better. Um, need to learn how to put a full 40 minutes together, um, a complete game, and just learn to get better every day. Trey, you, you were out for two weeks. You came back. You didn't show a whole lot of rust. It seemed like it made a big difference to the team. What was it like for you to have to sit out and watch? And how did it feel getting back on the court this week? Uh, I thought it was good for me just to be able to um, you know, sit back and you know, learn. Uh, obviously, you know, watching for my teammates, I was able to learn a lot. Um, also, being able to just, you know, be able to cheer my teammates on um, and see their success. Um, and also be able to see, you know, obviously it's different what you see from on the court perspective. And um, when you're off the court, be able to come back and um, just try and preach what I've seen off the court uh, to help us uh, continue to get better. Um, but, I mean, it's been, it's been good being able to be back on the court. Obviously, that's what I want to be in. Uh, that's what I want to continue to be too. Did you feel any rust at all? Like Shaw seemed surprised that you were able to give 25 high level minutes on Sunday. I wouldn't say there was any rust. Um, I mean, just got to get my win back a little bit, but I wouldn't say any rust. Dre, how would you say overall your transition from Louisville to Seton Hall is going, and what do you kind of see your role as with this team? Um, I think my transition has been smooth. Uh, obviously, my teammates and coaches have made it um, easy for me to be able to make this transition. Um, Honestly, I'm just trying to be an everyday guy, do what I can to help the team win. Um, you know, I think that role changes every day, depending on what the team needs, and you know, just try to fill in whatever we need to do to get the win. Are you still in touch with any of the Louisville guys that are obviously off to a tough start there? Yeah, uh, I still got a lot of teammates and friends that's on that team still. I'm still cheering them on, and I'm um, gonna stay in constant communication with them. You try to lift them up a little bit, or? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think they just need one good win to get them going, and once they, you know, they can go from there. And, you know, it could turn into another one. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm always rooting for those guys, and, you know, it's always love. Uh, Trey, hot start to the game for you today. Not just shooting the ball, but also rebounding defensively. How do you feel you got into the flow? You're coming off a of Sunday, which is kind of rocking away. Um, I, I just feel like I got into the flow <clears throat> with my teammates, just encouraging me to be, be more aggressive. And what's it like, what's it like having Dre back? After missing it for two weeks, it seemed like he made a big difference. Yeah, it's, it's always good having Dre on the court with us. He's a great leader. He definitely gives us that energy that we need. Did you feel that you and Kadari had something going in the first half when they hit those back-to-back -back, uh, three-point shots yeah. where it looked like he was looking for you? Yeah, for sure. Me and Kadari still got the chemistry from last year. So. Did you have eye contact? You just felt it or yeah, you knew he, you were hot and he was controlling the pass? Kadari is just a, a good, good passer. He, Scans the floor very well, you know, knows how to find guys. So. Trey, how do you feel physically? You know, you, I guess you got an injury there with your ankle, I guess? Um, I feel, feel good. I'm getting back, getting back into it. So. Okay. And you got these Big East games coming up Saturday. How much are you guys looking forward to playing Providence and getting into the Big East schedule? Definitely looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, Dari, uh, yeah, six steals Sunday. The defense has held two teams under 50 points. Seems like you guys are defending as, as well as you ever have. What is the key for you defensively and for the entire group defensively? Um, just remembering our principles and what we go over every day. But got a little sloppy in the second half. It's off the ball for me personally. And just got to get better at that. Doug, what's it like having Dre back out there healthy? And do you feel you guys have a little chemistry going? Um, just another voice out there, another guy that's going to play hard. And give it all the guy every time he's out there. Darry, is there a different mentality coming off the bench as opposed to starting for you? Um, I'm playing basketball either way, so I'm just grateful. Uh, what about just with the Big East play opening up, how much are you looking forward, all you guys, to challenging yourself against those teams? I think it's going to be fun. It's always a good opportunity to start Big East play on a good note, strong. You guys seem really down about this win. I mean, you won by 17. What what was said after the game, or what was the mood about the second half? It seems like you guys feel like you could have done a lot better there. Uh, 
I just feel like coach holds us to a higher standard. And, um, like Dari said, we came out kind of slow towards the second half. So just knowing what we can do and, and what we need going forward is all right, what, what's on our mind. How much, how much better can this team get defensively? Do you guys feel this, this more to give defensively? Where are you at in terms of this group's defensive potential? Um, obviously, we had two uh, games where we held people under 50, but I mean, we still got a lot of room to improve. There's still a little um, just key things that we need to lock in on. Um, some miscommunication here and there, and just uh, staying disciplined with our, um, our scheme, our defensive schemes. I guess we have Coach Hollywood. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.